What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. And I have to tell you before my little <clears throat> ADHD brain forgets, but the music, the music, <laughs> the song Love by Music Soul Child popped into my head like right before I was going to do you guys' reading, and it's just like, love. So many things I gotta tell you. That whole little, you know, okay. So go listen to that song, maybe. Don't get me started on this whole singing thing, because. Mm -mm. Anyways, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm gonna do How Do They Feel spread. And the cards that already popped out were The Messenger of Air and The Three of Air, which is how we got to the air signs next you guys have something you need to say to somebody somebody who broke your heart somebody who chose someone else over you uh maybe it's just a conversation where you're gonna have to leave somebody behind it's like you don't really want to do that you know what i mean whoever this person is um you care about them really deeply you just don't tell them shocker i know um fortune's wheel Ace of Fire. Not only is destiny is something you want, High Priestess, you're just not saying shit. Or they're not. This, I think the person you're dealing with isn't saying shit. And then you guys are like looking at this like maybe should I talk to them? Should I send them this message? Like I'll put a lot of time into this or blah blah blah. But then we have the Emperor and the Chariot. So y'all are being stubborn asses sitting up here like listen. I'm the Emperor. I run this shit. If they want to talk to me. They're going to have to come to me type shit. But at the end of the day Moving forward, forward movement. Sevens is a lucky number of the day for you. What does that mean? Sevens are lucky in some people's language. Page of fire, four of fire. You need to send a message to somebody that you were on a break with, or they're going to send you a message. About a relationship, about a marriage about a commitment, about a job. Some of you guys had to take a break from something you wanted to do. Only in this break, you realized a true, a higher calling. Um, for some of you, it's a really spiritual, it's a spiritual journey. Ascension comes to mind. Um, hang around, but you feel stuck. You feel stuck in something that you, you like put a lot of time into person, place or thing. Some of you guys, it's been seven months of you not telling this person how you felt about them. Well, damn. But you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're, you're no, you're holding back. Ten of Earth. Trying to move into calmer waters, trying to be stable, trying to get yourself financially stable. So part of you feels like you're stuck in just waiting for this, even though there's a lot you want to tell someone. Some of you guys, there's a spiritual connection here that is like a, with a whole lot of passion. But for some reason, it's like you've had to take a break. But then it's like when you try to move on, something keeps pulling you back in a way. It's new. Is, is, is the feels new, air signs? You guys catch the feels? Oh, shit. Cool card. You have feelings for this person. But you're single, they're single, independent, six of earth. You could be um, wondering if it's going to be an even exchange because we've had those situations where it wasn't. I don't think that this love shit has happened to y'all in a while. Some of you guys need to go outside to ground yourself. Some of you guys um, have creepers, are creeping. Oh. Baby mama, baby daddy, majorly fucking stalking, which we probably already knew. The harvest, they want what you have. They want what you have with another person. They have daddy issues. Damn, I'm sorry I had to say that, but somebody's got some major daddy issues. Somebody, you all could have kids with this person that's still stalking you. But it's like, they kind of see what you could be or like, I feel like it's really karmic for some of you guys, and you know that. You just, like, try not to talk about it out loud because then it gives it power. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny. <clears throat> but um, you have a vision of what you want and, like, where you want to be. Some of you guys want to live, like, in the country with a garden. Some of you guys um, 
might even be like investing in property for this or want to in the future. This looks like a cute little place too out in the country and there's some sheeps. Sheep? Sheeps isn't a word, is it? And then you have the four of wands like with this person that you just like can't take your eyes off. Like he's pouring something and he's staring at her like he's not even focused. Like you know what you want to do. But then you're like, there's this single part of you that's like, eh, because the last time we tried this shit, um, or maybe you just want to show like this person, like you can do everything on your own. Like you can get it how you live. You know what I mean? And some of y'all are going to, you're going to be getting a loan to buy property or land. Take me with, <laughs> just kidding. I don't even know y'all like that, but I do want to live out in the country. <laughs> I don't know shit about sheep, but I can rock that. You know what I mean? Um, the lady and the Lord is in reverse. So it's like, is, this is a connection where you guys, this is something that's like, you guys question each other's loyalty almost to the to a fault. And it's like, you feel the exact same way about each other. But it's like the whole feelings thing, air sign. Someone could already be in a relationship. But there's like a lot of passion here um five it's like you don't want to rock the boat <laughs> you don't want to really rock the boat but it's like you don't you're trying to like make everybody get along you know what i mean like give your opinion when it's needed high priestess yeah some of y'all are, are, have um a really s spiritual connection high priestess came out twice but it's like this person kind of does things completely different than you. And you know the sun and the and the moon do. You know what I mean? The moon works at night, the sun works during the day. So this is like the this is your polar opposite. This is the negative aspect of you that you don't really want to accept. Something to do with your parents. So that's shitty, isn't it? The other part of yourself that you kind of been waiting for. Could be more focused on your finances could be just kind of like at this point bruh i'm not about to miss this boat i'm about to go live in the country and be fat and happy on my farm it's funny how i'll always have farms and vegetables and fruits so there um word to the wise you know the universe is sending out a sos like um <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, giving attention where it's deserved. So are we getting a job where someone's going to be getting a promotion? But there's some kind of blockage here where you're not really telling someone something. You're healing yourself in your own time and trying to just make shit work across the board. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you, it's just easier for you to do and create your visions on your own and carry the visions out on your own. But then you have this person who has these feelings for you and this really wasn't in your plan. You're like, listen, where the fuck did this come from? You know what I mean? Like, this person is um, wants to heal you or like could be, it's like you don't really notice them. I don't know. You're kind of still heartbroken over someone from your past or current situation. This person could kind of bring the alchemy um, aspect into your life, though. They kind of have their little own little potions they mix them up at night and shit with the fairies. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some green shit. Heart chakra comes to mind. Celery. Whatever kind of green vegetables. Something to do with wool, too. What's kind of, what vegetables are in this picture? Pears, turnips, carrots, broccoli, peppers, apples, watermelon. Maybe that's what the universe wants you to eat. There's some kind of, he has got a cup in his hand, so some kind of juice he's making. The crone. You have some, you're, you're a very wise person, or this person's very wise. Or maybe you didn't really feel like this person's like on your level, but the fucking lion and the crone, like, you guys are maybe more alike than you realize. This is what you've been waiting for. Um, nine of chalices, like literally a wish come true or a dream. But it's like the eight of, eight of swords in reverse. You're getting out of your head, which is good. But I feel like a part of you could have just gotten in an argument with this person. There could be some disagreements about the others. Yeah, majorly the communication, bruh. Someone might be walking up. Someone just wants things to get better. Like, you know, someone's like, bruh, when the fuck is this going to get better? Like, 
but it is paid oh man okay listen this is this is walking away from what no longer serves you this is getting rid of these old emotions and letting something pass you by letting the emotions kind of wash over you basically oh i like that um six of air coming into calmer waters where you're not going to be so stuck in your head about everything the star card and the nine of chalice is like you're creating something that is coming true you know in the background it has a star in the moon like intertwined it's like patience and love are next six and 14 are the numbers on here but i just feel like this is going to take a lot of patience you know when you truly love someone it's loving them even when they're in beast mode like that really reminds me of the story of beauty and the beast you know what i mean there's two different beasts in here but it's like she's not scared she's not going anywhere like she's got gray hair in this picture and this person like this person will love you until you're old and it, like regardless of whatever you look like she's not a she's not afraid to lay with the lion she's laying on top of the light she's laying on top of the lion's heart actually and here she's walking with him because she knows who he is and she knows like she's ready for this walk like i don't think you guys are really afraid to do this you know what i mean even though you've been left by the people in the past Maybe they didn't know your worth. But this is going to take patience. Love and patience go hand in hand. And that's shitty, but hurry up and wait. You know what I mean? What are the messages for the air signs? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Ha! <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Forgiving and learning. You, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some of you guys just broke up with someone. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Here we go. Yes, this is your soulmate that you're separated from right now. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Whoever y'all were married to in the past, whoever is... Uh, so there was a pretty codependent person, whoever was married or whatever the fuck. There's a new person coming in, but you almost think they're like the same thing with this codependency. So that's why you're not telling this person how you feel. Don't let negativity take over your thoughts now that you're getting your thoughts back to positive, by the way. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You and this person have similar views. Maybe some of you guys have complete opposite views. Whatever the case may be. Um... There's something you're not saying that you need to say. Just like that. And go listen to that music. Go listen to that music. Why do I keep saying music when it's a song? <laughs> go listen to that song, um, Love by Music Soul Child. Because it's a good song. I was jamming. Anyways, y'all have a good night. Bye.